Hey everybody, this is Dion. This is my very first uh, live streaming, so I thought it would be a good idea to play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's see how it goes. Well, finally, that was a long ass intro right there. Bring him in here! Get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. This guy's probably dead Baby's already. Dead. You see? There was nothing more <clears throat> you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you are gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen to me, Ollie, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I still don't know which one I am. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could. Throw myself in the ground, in their stead. I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. Got some well, we ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask what really went down back there on that boat. We missed you. <laughs> That's what happened. Come on. Oh. He's avoid, avoiding hey, speaking about it. Horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. Okay, so we finally I get to play. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Okay, you cannot pass this guy. Whatever. Careful over this bridge here. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. Hey, I think I see something up the path. So what's going to happen now? Who's there? I think this guy's going to get me into trouble. <clears throat> Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. <laughs> Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. Okay, I can't yeah, seem to go any faster than It'll this, be but. Fried. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. You sure about this, Micah? Okay, you can talk to Mr. this guy. Morgan. I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay, let's head down there. Coming fast. Okay, go. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, hold that horse, Morgan. Well, I didn't know how to drive with a with a horse, right? So 
I don't know. I've never ridden a horse before, so how am I supposed to know how to control this animal? Here. Okay, approach stage. Okay. So what's gonna happen now? Pitch the okay. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Well, this guy is impatient. Well, Arthur, where am I supposed to... cover in that shed over there. Right, so I guess I'm supposed to hide right here. Something's about to go down, you just know it. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry what you want? to disturb you. Uh, my <laughs> friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body food in the wagon. I uh, hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. <laughs> Well, you knew something was about to go down. Ah, man. Okay, so he's gone. I think I got hurt pretty badly, I don't know why. Well, even I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to control this guy. So, wait, wait, how, how do you get, how do you stand up? Okay, finally. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I forgot, where are you supposed to go now? Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. So what can you grab over here? Like O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, uh, starving. We should eat something now. Get your strengths up for the ride back. Place. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Okay, just searching the house, see if I can find some more objects over here. There's probably something here. Yeah, wait a minute. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Well, okay. Something over here. Wait a minute. What is that? A 
Is that a necklace? Oh, sure. Well, what is this? What else can you find in here? Oh, you can climb. Okay, wait a minute. I didn't know you can do this. Uh. Come on, Arthur! Get a move on! Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah? You search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Okay, finally. Hey, there's a horse over there. Okay. Okay, now somebody's gonna attack me, I just feel it. Uh, see? Bastard shot my cut! Bloody scarlet! I'm gonna break your neck! What's going on? This guy just jumped me. Oh, did he now? What a surprise. Look at this guy. He, he doesn't Sneaky even sound surprised. Bastard. Should I kill him? Sure. No. Leave no witnesses. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Beat Colm the crap out of this guy first. With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. He swears. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Shut up. <laughs> okay, that's enough now. Please, partner. Yeah, well, I'm gonna spare this guy, but probably he's gonna give me trouble Go. further in the game, I guess. I should have killed him. Sorry. So there's a gun. Oh wait. We got a hat. What else? Sure. Easy. Okay. Easy. Let's calm the horse now. I don't know how the horse can get calm. I just beat the crap out of that guy. There, boy. Are you sure about this? But oh, okay. You let him go, huh? Saw the little bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Oh, wait. Get away from me! Michael, what the hell do you think you're doing? Come here. Whoa, that was just nasty. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you. Oh, you fool. Michael. Miss. It is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Hmm. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. 
in my husband's name. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Carson. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. So, it's okay. Well, that's comforting, don't you think? You know, we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. Uh, okay. What's so your the house name, is going to burn down. Miss? Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but we weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting a train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this <laughs> poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a yeah, drink of something. Yeah, she must be cold. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. <laughs> I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? <laughs> get yourself to bed. So you can get to know the guy a little bit better, don't you think? 